used to wake up in the morning To the quiet of the cove And to hear Aunt Bessie talking to herself Hello everyone! In this episode of Meet the Rock we take you to Corbin, an abandoned outport on the south coast of Newfoundland. One of these outports, like many others in Placentia Bay, victim of the resettlement policy of the 1960s. Are you ready? So let's go! To get to Corbin from Marystown, take Route 220, the one that goes around the boot from the south. This is the last part of Captain Cook Drive. At the entrance to Buren, take the direction of St. Lawrence. After passing Lewins Cove and then Big Salmonier, take the intersection indicating the direction of Epworth. At the end of Main Road in Epworth, take the dirt road which should lead us to Corbin. The road is more or less passable depending on the year. There it was, and the snow served as a shock absorber. We then arrive at a place that looks like a campsite, since there are many caravans there. Actually, we're in Wandsworth. Another fishing village since abandoned. Wandsworth still had 91 inhabitants in 1956. After Wandsworth, the road to Corbin plunges into the forest and runs along numerous ponds, each more beautiful than the next. So let's dive in. The arrival in Corbin is spectacular, with this long barrisway and these colorful houses in the distance. Corbin is an outport already populated in 1830. In 1921, it had 116 inhabitants. Like many outports on the Buren Peninsula, Corbin was hard hit by the 1929 tsunami. Like nearly 300 settlements in Newfoundland, Corbin was included in the resettlement policy implemented by the Newfoundland government in the 1960s and 1970s. During this period, nearly 30,000 people were relocated. 
Corbin was one of the last communities in Newfoundland to be resettled in 1976. Today, there are still several cabins there, used mainly during the good season and for fishing and hunting. The bridge, built in 1970, made it possible to cross the Barrisway, on foot or by vehicles, and to access a dozen cabins. Due to lack of maintenance, the bridge deteriorated and ended up being removed. Since 2016, the only way to access the cabins, but also the cemetery, is to use a boat. There is a trail to access this area by ATV from Little St. Lawrence, but we'll get to that in a later video. And if we went around Corbin? If you like this video, consider telling us by pressing the like button just below. If you want to see more videos like this about Newfoundland, help us grow this channel by subscribing and sharing the videos. It's very important for us. Finally, do not hesitate to share your observations with us in the comments below and to suggest places or events that you would like to see on video. If you know of atypical places that deserve to be better known, let us know. While waiting for the February episode, we will publish short videos corresponding to the filming location and photos on our Facebook page. Thanks for your support and see you soon.